who, who are these like entities out there? Let, that let me start around like, blockchain. Uh, okay. So blockchain is the <laughs> public record mm-hmm. of where, in this case, for cryptocurrency, where all the money has ever been and where it's going. So like it, all of the cryptocurrency. Yeah. So let's say okay. the first Bitcoin started in. 2009. In 2009, you issued your first Bitcoins, right? Um, If this guy wanted to give some to his friend, he he sends it over the network and the blockchain records, okay, you know, four Bitcoins went to this guy. And then this guy wanted to buy a pizza. And it goes, okay, this many Bitcoin went to this address. So that record is continued. So even today, if you look at the Bitcoin blockchain, you can read all the way back every transaction that ever happened. So it's a public record of w- what transactions happened. It's, it's anonymous in that it doesn't tell you whose account each wallet is, each address. Each address belongs to somebody, but it doesn't tell you whose address that is. So you can see where everything went, but not who owns each address. If you were to have a bunch of Bitcoin and you just decided to publicly on this video, like say my, my Bitcoin wallet address is 019H, well, H isn't in there, A, <laughs> A0, like the 32 characters and you said it, then, then everyone would know that's your wallet and they could go search on the blockchain and they could actually see, oh, Renee sent uh, two Bitcoin to this person, to this a- other address. They know who you are, but they don't know who you sent it to. Mm-hmm. So they just have the, the address. like the numerical address essentially. It's kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah it's kind of like a home address. Yeah. If you if you said your home address right now, then they could find you type of thing. That'd be yeah. the same thing for the... I heard she has a very nice home. <laughs> Nicer than Renee Zellweger. That's great as well. So the blockchain is this ongoing record of every transaction okay. that ever happened, in this case, in Bitcoin, right? So t- I just realized I went so deep on the blockchain thing. <laughs> yes. I'm, We're glad, really, I'm glad you came back. We're building blocks, yeah. <laughs> so those are the transactions that you're talking about is all of the well, exchanges. It, yes. It happens in blocks because you're not just doing one transaction at a time. You're going, yeah. here's a bunch of transactions. So in a, in a group, you're batching the transactions. Okay. So instead of spending all your time processing one by one by one by one, you can do it in chunks. Um, so it's... It's public in that anybody can read it. Mm-hmm. It's anonymous in that we don't know who owns what addresses. Um, it's distributed because it doesn't happen on one computer. It goes out over the network and all of the mining computers that are on the Bitcoin network, for example, are competing to decode the transaction first. And the first guy to get it, and if enough other computers verify yes, he got it first and he did it correctly, then there's some transaction fee that goes to that guy. Okay. And it happens in such a fashion that if everybody on the network more or less gets kind of an equal number of wins. Uh, So if there are fewer miners, then they'll make more money. Mm -hmm. If there's too many miners, then they'll each make less and less money per transaction. So that's like, because there's like all these apps out now where like you just leave the thing on your phone and you walk around and it like mines Bitcoin. So that's basically what it's doing. Yeah, is, yeah. they have those. Okay. But, but no, um, those on the phones, usually the CP, uh, CPU and or GPU on the phone. I don't know if phones have GPU, but the CPU on the phone is not very powerful. So it's not going to really yield you very much. Yeah. Um, but but that's, I think. Same that's, concept? It, that's Similar? the concept, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're yeah. like, hey, I'm not using these uh, <laughs> processors on my phone. Uh, so it can go on the network and maybe it'll catch some money by doing some transactions. Okay. It'll, it'll get some tiny share of the bounty. Um, so that's what makes it distributed. Okay. If it's a public record and it's distributed, then it's kind of, um, that's, that's, that's the decentralized part. And what's attractive about that in some ways is that it can't be controlled or, manipulated or erased or uh, you can't you can't lie about what happened because everybody has a copy Mm -hmm. so once you put your processor on the network it it has a copy of all those transactions Uh, more or less um you can correct me yeah i don't know um most miners are just processing and other miners will um confirm it but they actually really don't uh hold it 
there are full nodes. That's what uh, full nodes are actually what would um, hold the full blockchain. So the whole record. Yeah. Okay. But, um, full nodes is a funny thing. Um, it's actually super good for the network, but most people don't run a full node. Um, who needs another copy? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> of because, what happened in 2008. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and especially if 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 uh, millions of miners around the world are saying yes, this next record is right. This next record is right. Yeah. There's kind of sort of no need. Um, I, the only thing I could imagine is for a comp. Uh, this is way beyond. I mean, uh, this kind of I guess advance. I would imagine a company if they wanted to build a very super secure. Um, uh, crypto exchange maybe uh-huh. they could ha- i'm actually not even fully sure i would i would think they should put up a full node and watch for any discrepancies as the network because there's there's naturally ha- there's attempted hacks all the time so they should probably have a full node up just to catch uh to, because they could rely on their node unless their node gets hacked and um that kind of sucks but uh so anyways <laughs> right. full, full nodes would have the whole blockchain um nodes that miners don't really have the full blockchain they only they're just processing those new things coming in and out okay that's an upgrade to my understanding that's good um i'm very upgraded here (laughs) (laughs) so with the uh with all the miners in the world